Preparing for Ebola, a Chattanooga hospital sets a plan for a potential infectious patient. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. Yesterday we told you how the Hamilton County Health Department kicks into gear in the threat of an outbreak. Well, today, News Channel 1's Brianna Arredondo is following up with local hospitals. Brianna. Latricia, Josh, we went inside Memorial Hospital here in Chattanooga, where just this morning, staff members were briefed on how to handle a suspected Ebola case. It's extra precautions that doctors say are necessary. Memorial Hospital doctors are taking steps to prepare for patients with Ebola. It's unlikely, but Dr. Mark Anderson says it could happen in Chattanooga. We're going to train people. We're going to have drills so that when they're getting this gear on, taking it off in the right fashion, etc., they're not doing it for the first time. Anderson is an infectious disease specialist following every development out of Dallas in West Africa. Emergency room staff is training on how to handle the deadly virus. They're ready for the challenge uh, if, if need be. Uh, they're, they're anxious. This is a very frightening disease. If someone walked into the ER with symptoms. We get them to fill out a piece of paper here. I get them to see it into the computer. And I bring them back to see the triage nurse. The area will look similar to this, but completely sealed off to everyone except those treating the isolated patient. We just bring them into a room, uh, get them on the monitor, and then at that point we'll have them see a doctor. Doctors wearing protective gear just like this. People will go in with someone, the sort of the buddy system, to, to watch them when they're taking care of the patient, to help them make sure they don't make any mistakes uh, in their technique. Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital officials admit their first mistake made with Thomas Eric Duncan when he first walked in. So Memorial doctors say they are learning from it. Uh, everyone, not just people who work here, but everyone is aware of that, and it'd be unlikely now that that's not going to be thought about. And Memorial Hospital expects to perform a full-on drill in the coming weeks. Other medical centers, including Erlanger Hospital, Park Ridge, and Sky Ridge, all say that they're prepared for infectious disease protocols. And Brianna, what does a full-on drill involve at Memorial? Well, for them, it's going to be doctors in protective gear, full-on protective gear, along with some fake patients for them to practice um, anyone who would come in with Ebola. But again, this is unlikely, doctors say, in terms of there being an outbreak, but they do want to be prepared. Okay, Brianna, thank you.